This was a rematch. Galvan versus Warren had happened before. I thought the worst decision in the history of Bellator, giving it to Warren over Galvan. I thought Galvan dominated two out of three rounds in that fight. So there was a backlog of disappointment for Galvan leading into that fight. He had promised his mother on her deathbed he was gonna be a champion, and here was his opportunity against a guy most people believe he had already beaten before. Marcos Galvão, a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Everybody I talked to on his team, they were like, his jiu-jitsu is off the chain, unbelievable. And we never, ever saw it. This mythical jiu-jitsu. And then finally, against Joe Warren, we saw not just great jiu-jitsu, but incredible, incredible finishing ability. Oh, he's got it! The tight is deep, that is tight! Look at the two When Galvon straightened that leg out, he did Joe Warren a solid. You see on the tape, he literally looks back at it and kind of give Joe the opportunity, like, all right, you know, I know this hurts, just tap him, and this is good. Oh, you're not going to tap? The rose is head back, plants it. And Joe Warren was in so much pain, he screamed, and that was it. I don't think if a meteor had come through the roof, it would have stopped him from getting that submission. That kind of focus and determination, that's championship stuff. And that's what Marcos Galvão showed everybody. I'm a champion up here. Nothing to do is gonna get me off what I'm thinking, which is ripping the belt off of you. And that's exactly what he did.